Um, well, check this out. This is what having a bad day looks like. One driver in New Orleans ended up stuck in a huge hole on Fern and Cone Street in the Carrollton area. And guess what? It's not the first time there's mm -hmm. been a problem with holes on that street. Now, back in June, there was a deep sinkhole as a result of a cracked sewer line. Yeah, Paul Dudley has more from neighbors who are frustrated by another huge hole. Ah, uh, it's a hole. If you were looking for an image, it just showed up. To sum up what it's like driving on Fern Street. It seemed to keep multiplying. This is it. We get to experience a lot of them on the street, but this one takes the cake. Could be a tank trap if you know, really wanted to. This latest hole didn't trap a tank, but rather a Mercedes Benz stuck on Fern and Cone Street. A witness told us the driver was fine, and that later NOPD put up cones and caution tape to alert drivers. Still, neighbors are worried another car might go right in again. You driving off at night and had caught it, that would be, that could be very, very, very bad. It's actually good when you see it. It's when you don't see it that you break the axle on your car. Just last June, a sinkhole roughly five feet deep opened up right up the street. Back then, Sewerage and Water Board confirmed that it was a sewer line that cracked. Crews eventually fixed it. It was either sewer water line that caused the first kind of pothole of mystery not too long ago, and it's just, it started two blocks down, and it seems to just be migrating this way. But now, another mess. We called S&WB about the newest hole. They told us they would look into it. Now, it's a mystery hole, leaving neighbors again scratching their heads. So, but they haven't told you what caused it? Uh, just other than they've been working on sewer lines, you know, and then next they said water lines. Neighbors here are glad the driver's okay. Now they're just trying to find the funny. And my main concern is just that Santa sticks to rooftops this year, because I'm afraid if he hits the streets, we're going to have reindeer all over the place. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Again, we did reach out to the Sewage and Water Board for more information. They did not get back to us with an official comment, but said they would once they figure out what caused this.